This chapter is about care and protection of plant and animals. So let's continue from where we have left last class. Protection of forest. Our country has rich, beautiful forest. Many animals live in this forest. The animals get shelter and food from this forest. We get wood from the forest which is very useful for us. The forest give us many useful products. Forest give us wood for furniture and houses, paper and cloth. Okay. Forests are also useful in many other ways. The forest prevent floods. They do not allow the soil to be washed away. They also help in bringing rain. However, there has been destruction of our forest. Man needed more and more timber. As our population increased, forests were cut down to make more spaces for building new towns and industries. More land was needed to grow more food. Sometimes fire destroys forests. The destruction of forests created lots of problem. Our government is now taking steps to protect the forest in our country. The government has launched many programs to save forest and plant new trees. You must have heard of a program of tree plantation called Vanamahotsav or Forest Week. During this program, people plant trees in large number in various parts of our country. You can also grow saplings of trees in your school or around your homes. The trees not only help to maintain the balance of nature but also make our surrounding look beautiful and pleasant. Next, protection of animals. Animals are useful to us in many ways like plants, animals also need care and protection. Caring for our domestic animals, animal need food shelter and water they should be groomed and cleaned they should be kept in clean sheds they should be given clean drinking water the water container should be cleaned every day animal need food to build their bodies they must be given proper food at certain fixed hour of the day if the animal falls sick, they must be treated. Proper medicine should be given to sick animals. There are special veterinary hospitals for sick animals. The waste of domestic animals such as dung, urine and decaying fodder should be properly disposed of. It can be dumped in a pit where it will become useful manure for crops. Animal dung is frequently used to make gober gas. This can be used for cooking. If we look after our domestic animals, they will give us product of good quality. If a cow or a buffalo is given proper food, its milk would be a good quality. Next topic is about care of wild animals. Animals living in forests, deserts and lakes etc. are called wild animals. These are also useful to us. Many people kill these wild animals. This is called hunting. The skin of animals like tiger, cheetah, deer, lion etc is very valuable some people kill wild animal for fun some animal are also hunted for their meat today many wild animals are dying the cutting of forest and forest fire makes wild animal homeless these wild animals must be protected otherwise there will be lost forever 
our government has taken many steps to protect our wildlife under this program they have set up many national park and wildlife sanctuaries government has also framed certain laws to protect our wildlife everybody should obey these laws so there are the name of some sanctuaries and the state where it is located first jim cobbett national park it is located at uttaranchal pradesh kanha national park is located at madhya pradesh hazari bag national park is located in bihar bandipur national park is located in karnataka bharatpur national park is located at rajasthan kaziranga national park is located at assam modumalai national park is located at tamil